Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll learn one more good concept about a new tool which is being used for performance testing and engineering. This tool is NeoLoad which comes with many advanced features. So this is how it looks like once you open the tool. I'll take you through customizing one API script or so creating a customized API script and then putting a validation point in there. Okay. So to start with, right click and create a new user path. This user path is quite similar to load runner virtual users. So just create a new user path and you can uh, name it as, you know, whatever you are going to achieve in the script. So I'm going to show you a demo on APIs. I'll put it as API demo. After it is created, you can see the folder structure quite similar to load runner. You have action here and you will not have anything inside. I'm just going to create or insert a child, then request. I'm going to do a simple HTTP request. So I'll say HTTPS request and say empty here and create. Post, you create it. I've already added a server, a host, uh, but if it is not added, you can go here and you can add a host. All right. Uh, let me uh, do it again for you. Uh, let's say new server. Name it as uh, demo test and I'll probably copy it from this one as I'm going to put a online API and remember to change it if it is HTTPS request you, you must make it 443 save it and go here your server is all set now you need to get the path I'm going to Again, the same online API, copy the last part of it. It is a get request. So I have made it get. Okay, copy pasted the last part. Then save it. And if you want a validation point, go click on validation uh, button at the uh, bottom, cur bottom of the uh, tool and then go here click on this plus button you have a assertion here you can probably rename it as api underscore validation one and then say contains my response must contain a 200 a success message and then say okay right you are all set now once you are done with the scripting this is uh, a simple customized API script once you are done you can go check your script here by clicking on this button and then say start checking so it, it is going to send out a single request for you and then um, you can see the response here which you get from the server post that you can make your setup uh, for a higher population which is a number of virtual users etc and run your test uh, i'm just trying to hit it with one user let's see what the response is yeah so we are here okay you can cross check whatever has happened uh, is the server uh, details okay I'll go here uh, details the request that you have sent it is a get request to this api the response that you have got and you have your 200 inside the response so your assertion is also passed you can see here one out of one it is passed you can check the assertion okay 
so uh, this is all about your first script using new load i'll come up with few more scripts in my videos uh, for making more changes uh, adding in population and running it in uh, the actual run mode wherein you can even see the uh, different graphs for um, you know user load or uh, ramp up etc thank you for watching